So here we are at the Tufa site. We've named this site La Fica La Noc. Uh, I discovered it back in 2008, uh, when just before I discovered Malapa. And it's a, a large limestone tufa formation, which actually forms by a, a chemical reaction of water coming out of the dolomite. It reaches a shale in this particular case, and it dumps all its load of lime into it, and has created this gigantic buildup of plant material, leaves, sticks, twigs, and even some insects and other things that have been captured in it, some fossils included. It's been doing that uh, for around two to 300,000 years. The oldest dates that we have were done by cosmogenic nuclides way back in 2008 uh, that said that it was reaching just over 200,000 years when it started forming. That's what we're here to test. We're drilling 20 holes. Uh, uh, Taboka Machabella from UJ and from our Center for Exploration at Vitz uh, is the principal investigator on this, and he will be dating all of these cores uh, that we put. There's a PhD student, Miami Tavian, you can see in the background, as well as some visitors uh, to the site. And we are now drilling these cores, and I'll, I'll let you have a, a look at, at how that operation goes. We're just about to pull uh, one of the cores out uh, and put it into a sleeve. Let's go take a look at that. So the drilling process is done by a drilling rig. Here you can and see it here. And it puts down cores that are a little over a meter long each as they go down. And they pull out the core in a sleeve and then they will open that sleeve up and we will then store the sleeve in a, a plastic bag. The operation basically works by drawing water down from the spring into this tank. A tank goes into uh, this pit over here and then water is pumped uh, in from that pit into the drill area and then it flows back into the pit. And they use that because they want dirty water. They want the water to be like a sludge, effectively to create a grit when they're actually uh, drilling. And then they are now taking uh, a core out uh, and you'll see the core being lifted and we will then store that core based on the measurements of where the drill has got to. We're expecting um, this core to go down to eventually 12 to 18 meters. That's our estimate of how deep the uh, tufa site is in this uh, particular area before we hit the shale uh, bedrock. What we're going to do with all of this data is that we are going to attempt to reconstruct the climate and environments using the plants and the isotopes uh, of these dated cores of this region over the past two to three hundred thousand years. It's not only good for us reconstructing Homo naledi's environment, which is in that kind of time range, and remember because we have no fauna with Homo naledi, we have to use the proxies like this to see what environment they were living in, but it's also ultimately going to give us a record of the climate of the interior uh, and environment and changing environment in the interior of southern Africa over that same time period, which will be a very, very exciting, uh, exciting thing to happen. So now you're going to watch them pull a core out, and here comes that core um, that's, that's coming uh, from the drilling that's going on, and there at the bottom is the sheath uh, that's just emerged here, as we'll take a closer look. You can see the, the sheath that has just emerged. So you can get an idea of how deep that core is. And then they're going to unlock it now. And we get to see the results. Now, one of the things you'll notice is if you look over here, those are the cores laid out so far. Um, we're already down below six meters, and that's not six meters core. The reason is, is that there are often soil gaps or holes in the tufa. Um, that that uh, are, we then go through, and those were created uh, by the um, those are created uh, by gaps, maybe plants that deteriorated or other material uh, that deteriorated uh, inside the tufa, or where caves have formed uh, within it from water uh, running uh, through this tufa site. Uh, so this is one of those very exciting projects that is working at the, on the ecology uh, and the environment of, uh, that we're trying to recreate here in the Cradle of Humankind World Heritage Site that will be of value to a whole lot of other sciences. There's Tavian supervising work that's going to uh, 
be important to his PhD. There's the sleeve um, uh, coming out right now, and we will very shortly get a look at what it contains. So you never know what you're going to get in a core like this. You can see him feeling here on the end for solid rock. He's seeing whether it's it's solid tufa rock uh, on the end, and it is. I can see from now as he tries to get this off. This is real rough and ready work, as you uh, might imagine. And, <laughs> and it's stuck. He's going to try and slide it out, I think. Let's go over and watch them lay the core out. Of course, the very one that I decide to film is going to get stuck on the top. So we just have to, you have to wait like we do as we watch this happen. There, the cap's coming off. He's knocking out the first bit of the core there, and they'll keep that uh, in position. This is a tufa core that you can see here. You can see each of the cores uh, has its measurement from where it is um, within this area and it's been attached and aligned in the position uh, that they came out in. So you see that core was only a small area. They stopped to see what they were getting. So that was the, 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 the whole core that they got out of that. So they'd only drilled down about uh, that's about 25 centimeters or so, and you can see the tufa core now being built. And it's from that that we're going to get the uh, data of age, of uh, isotopes, of, of the plant community that existed, maybe some insects that we've seen in this, and maybe some other fossils if we uh, get lucky. So that's what we're doing here. We're drilling. This operation is going to be uh, repeated 18 more times uh, in here so it's quite a, a long uh, a long process uh, that we're working and you can see them measuring the distances we've got into this hard tooth now so that's all for now um, we'll keep you updated as this work progresses <laughs>